I'm Jody Barrows with The Square in a Square. Welcome to Quilt Talk today. I have two of the most precious people and the best friends in the world Aww. with me today. <laughs> Miss Kay and Miss Kathy are here from uh, the Franklin um, Quilt well, Company <laughs> from Franklin, Tennessee, close to Nashville there. And if you've watched us before or if you've been a part of our Quilt Club Week before, which we're going to talk about all of that today, then you know how exciting and fun it is to have Kay and Kathy and that they always bring a good time to their quilting and their sewing, their teaching, whatever it is that they're doing. So we are live here in Texas. It's still hot, but it's starting to cool yeah. down this yeah. week. I think yeah. they brought some of the, the cooler temps cooler with temps. us. So we're going to be doing several quilt talks this week. Um, I would right now, I would guess, of course, today, Monday, and then a Wednesday, and then a Friday one. Today's so, Tuesday. Oh, okay, Tuesday. See, <laughs> I, I, I'm already off a day. So we're going to be doing more quilt talks this week. Uh -huh. Sign up on our email list. Just go to squareinasquare.com. And right at the top, there's a place where you can find out about Premium Club and Quilt Club Week. And, uh, and if you sign up with your email, then, of course, you'll get an email notification of when we're going to do stuff and give you a little bit of a heads up this week. And then, of course, any time that we do something, you'll be getting that email on that. So lots of times people are like, how is the best way to, if you're new to us, you're like, I want to get involved with what you guys are doing. What is the best way to do that? And the, the I would say go to the website and sign up with your email. And then to start learning is to sign up for Quilt Club Week. So we'll talk about Quilt Club Week and we're going to show you some quilts that Kay and Kathy have and some patterns. And we, all of us, I think are, are I'm going to use the word gurus on having our work look nice mm -hmm. but keeping it fun and learning yes. shortcuts we don't you know we we're all i think smoking needles and kamikazes yes, we, we want to get to the machine we want to get into our excitement of piecing that's what i think we well you're the the quilter or the real <laughs> yeah, quilter she's but, the queen but, of but she's, yes. i mean we want to get to our piecing with no nonsense we want our work to look nice in a timely manner and we want to move on to our next project right. because mm -hmm. we always have new fabric that is calling to us yes and we all have these stashes yes. that we need to work through and scraps and everything so we we kind of hone in and, and do a lot of that but um, the best way to get involved is to go to our website squareinasquare.com sign up on your email and then you can sign up for quilt club week now if you sign up for quilt club week uh, you will be able to go in and watch right now as soon as you sign up you'll be able to watch quilt club week 2020 which we're going to talk about today past Quilt Club Weeks and mm -hmm. what we taught so that you can kind of get an idea of what's already in there for you. Mm -hmm. You'll also be able to see Quilt Club Week of 2021 and then when our Quilt Club Week of 2022 comes around, which is the first week of October, then you'll be signed up, ready to go. You'll know how to navigate the websites and be ready to go. Now during the actual Quilt Club Week, during that week, we do a pre pre-recorded things which they're here yeah. to finalize their recording this week they're filming and then we also do live sessions last year even though Kay and Kathy were not here in the studio with us we got to do with technology a quilt talk with you guys in oh, your yes. Yes, we where did. they yeah. saw yes. that quilt that they wanted to see the prairie points on yeah okay <laughs> yeah. okay okay and so it was really was. really fun to yeah. be able to yeah. do a live quilt talk during quilt club week because uh, they are a blast you girls are a blast <laughs> everybody loves you and it's just some fun and exciting things that we can do now people say what is quilt club week and we actually started quilt club week in 2020 during the pandemic when everybody was stuck at home and everybody had uh, they were not able to go to any you know Paducah was canceled Houston was canceled everything was canceled life was canceled and people were just drying up and so right. sad at home and I really felt compelled towards the end of the summer we got it done really really quick Steve my mm -hmm. husband who does all my IT and everything he just got right on it he worked I mean literally night and day yeah. yes. to get the website built and to get the filming edited and to get everything on there for us and so basically since the quilt shows were canceled I was like how can I bring this on online so that people all over the world can see what they would see or do what they would do if they were going to a quilt show so when you go to a quilt show of course you can sign up for classes yes. and learn some mm -hmm. in-depth stuff so we had classes online of course that you could learn in-depth 
You also walk around vendors and see demos that they're doing in the booth. So mm -hmm. we had some quick little demos we that we mm -hmm. did and tips and hints on stuff. And then you would also get to set in on some lectures. So we did lectures. Now the cool thing about what I discovered when we did this is, is that you know, if you go in person to a quilt show and you sign up for a class, you only have the three hours, the six hours, right, or right. whatever, and when class is over, it's over. It's done, You yeah. put your project in a box, and you hope mm -hmm. when you go home, you can remember <laughs> what to do, you know? And, and so, you know, it's like, when it's online, you can go back in and watch it over and over and say, okay, how did she do that? What mm -hmm, words right. did she say? How mm -hmm. were her hands? Or, like, so often, you come home from a quilt show, right. and it's six months, a year. Oh, yeah, before you I've had people project. email me yeah. from oh. 10 years ago. Yeah. I'm picking up this project. I started uh -huh. with you in a class. Yeah. I need some help getting yeah. going. So the cool thing is, day or night, no matter where you live, you can go in and go back to that, that class uh, and pick yes. up where where you left right. off right. without any fuss or muss. If it's 2 a.m. and you want to jump in there and do it, it's ready to go. That's so right. I really love that. The other thing about classes is, is that you want to bring all this stuff with you for a three-hour class, a six-hour class. You try to find a classroom, a good place. Mm -hmm. You can't hear the teacher. You can't see what she's doing. Yeah. You know, you're on a, or they've provided a machine for you. You're yeah. on a machine you don't oh, know. No. Yeah. You yeah. spend all your time. You know, you paid to take this class from this teacher, but you spend all this time trying to figure out this machine she, you're not used mm -hmm. to. So I really yeah. love the idea of being able to sew in your own sewing room with your own comforts mm -hmm. at your own pace. Another thing over the almost 40 years of teaching is, is that some people are intimidated when you have, I always say, a uh, jackrabbit over here sewing, and right. she's already done, right. Right. and you're still trying to get your yeah. stuff started. Yeah, you so, so behind. you can sew at your own yeah. pace and not yeah. be intimidated by someone that's right. far ahead right. of right. you. And there's always going to be someone far ahead of Absolutely. you, because so, oh, yeah. that's just the way it is. So I love that fact. But then also, when you go to a lecture or you go and see vendors and see a little demo, as soon as you walk by, it's, you know, you're it's, looking at another demo, and right, then yeah. at the end of the day, you're like, okay, now where what, did I see that, that and what were I they liked. doing, yeah. Yeah. and how did they twist it and whatever. So uh, this is great because you can go back in any time. Mm -hmm. So if you sign right. up for Quilt Club Week right now, you're going to get a special price of $57. That's Quilt Club wow. Week 20. 20? Wow. Wow. Week 2021 and, and 20, our new 22. 2022. And you're going to get it clear to That April. is awesome. Yeah, so you're going to get like nine months or whatever. So like this whole, I always think of the sewing world in semesters. So we have our fall semester that's starting now. Right. And then our spring semester that's later. True. That's when we get most of our sewing done. Right. And right. we do most of our teaching. Because summer people are busy and they're with grandkids and, and all of that. Right. So they don't get gardens or whatever. They don't get as much done. So, um. Think when you're thinking back to Quilt Club Week 2020 or 2021, uh, are there some highlights of some of the different classes? Or, or uh, Kathy kind of hones <laughs> in on her machine yeah, quilting. I do. I do. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Kay is all about organizing and uh, scraps and shortcuts yeah. and uh, borders and bindings and all of that. Right. But mm -hmm. I think the right. thing that I think about on your machine quilting when we first started teaching it in um, our venue of classes right. with our premium clubs and our quilt talks and stuff. I think about just how simple you make it and how you've removed a lot of the nonsense. Well, I try to. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah, not, 2021 had a lot of very simple uh, explanation on mm -hmm. let's try, let's do this, let's do a curve or let's do this. Mm -hmm. Basics. And basics. Yeah. Very basic, basic, basic learning. stuff. So 2020 was a great uh, segment of actually sitting down in front of the machine and practicing machine quilting. We weren't working on a step project. Step by step. Yep. Yeah. Whereas um, I think later on we get into more in-depth Mm -hmm. things and yeah. um, I've got some exciting things to, to well and one of the other things that we did last year in 2021 was you did this quilt as you go quilt as you go yes. and mm -hmm. that was just awesome it and yeah. we got we got inspired and yeah. you got your quilt yeah, out we and got your quilt, quilt out. Out. Yeah. 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 I had a quilt uh, probably started in the 80s <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you know so here it is 40 years it's been in this little plastic <laughs> zipped up bag you know mm. and we got to talking about yeah. it and and got it finished. And yes, I said, uh, where is that? And yeah. so we and went. I looked in the closet, and I'm going, oh, <laughs> <There> okay. <he> <laughs> wow, look at those colors. Look at those. I remember yeah. those from the 80s. Big 16-inch blocks and yeah. some turquoise yeah. and 
kind of burgundy, M- burgundy or whatever. I think it was. Some yeah. browns. Yeah. 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 Really yeah, pretty. But we've so, finished that off. What else do you think about with your your quilting? Anything? Uh, the thing that students um, after they watch it, they email us or they'll put uh, you know after the class uh-huh. different comments. Is just how um, encouraged they are to go yeah. and start. And I machine quilted years ago. I believe it or not, you guys may not know this, but I actually machine quilted yeah. for other people. Oh so my gosh, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. And I charged by the bobbin. However oh, many bobbins okay. I used, so there yeah. was a set price for a bobbin. Really? And however many bobbins I used, because huh. that's how much time in quilting was uh-huh. in it, and yeah. easy to keep yeah. track. Huh. Yeah. And did uh, some st- free motion and some stippling wow. and straight lines and stuff. I didn't know so, that. So, but I just got yeah. so busy with square to square, square. And, yeah. And, yeah. And yeah, teaching and traveling. Well, you go to your towards your love. You yeah, know, what you love yes. to do. Go, go back to yeah. it. Um, yeah. But uh, it. Doing all of this really encourages me to think. Okay, someday I'm gonna I'm gonna you have time to, to do, do that. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love teaching about the stencils and the stuff that I use to uh, the pounce that I use to um, put the stencil on and and. Um, I just uh, I really like the tip of that little sponge paintbrush. Oh, that little sponge paintbrush. Because yeah. Of, yeah. I've tried doing it the other way, and I was just like, I don't. It's not. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's not quick enough and simple enough, and no yeah. mess. Yeah. yeah. And I think that stencil border that I sent you over is mm-hmm. that we're, we're going to yeah. show that at Quilt Club yeah. Week. I go. Um, sometimes I go back to some of the things that we talked about before, like in Quilt Club Twenty Twenty One. I talked about uh, straight line quilting. Kay and I did a lecture on right. various quilts and um, for straight line quilting. And then now in this segment in uh, Twenty Twenty Two, I'm going to do. Uh, a more in depth. I'm going to be hands on mm-hmm. the um, the machine quilting of it. So it makes sense to me to join Quilt Club Week, watch 2020 and oh, 21 oh, because yeah. they yeah. build on yeah, each other. Yeah, it does. Other. It builds right. on each so other. So yeah. we can watch what you did with your machine quilting in that one of let's get started right. and then getting and building and, up and then building kind of build up on it and from it. Yeah, because that's really any of our crafts. Oh yeah, or that's how our you... art, That's how we hone sure. our skills. Sure. Right. Yeah. Is, yeah. is by building on what we've already learned and done and tried. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And having someone who has done it. Right. Give it. And the thing that I love about Kay and Kathy is like you, you're next door with your friend and you're <laughs> like, hey, I know you machine quilt. How do I do this? You know, yeah. so they just, oh, yes, we could do that and yeah. just jump right in. And, I, and I've and gotten so that, you know, oh, I'm, I'm going to video this because I think this would be really good yeah. for. Quilt because Club you week have or been doing a lot of video in your yes, studio, in not studio. everything here, yeah, yeah. and so uh, it. Yeah, it, it really. I, I've got my setup really nice. I, you'd be so proud of me, Steve. She's got her own little studio. <laughs> yeah, I got my own little know, studio. I, I got yeah. lights here, lights there. I have to take the lamp off and take the the uh, shade off of it and <laughs> shove it over here. And I, you know, and the dog's like, "What are you and doing? Are you do- oh, we're filming again today. Okay, mom, I'll yeah. be quiet." And then, and then I'm in the middle of filming, and the garage door goes <laughs> up. You know, we're we're in the I'm in the above Upstate, the garage. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Well, that's just like my horses and chickens and all that, right. dogs barking and all yeah. that. It's 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 real life. We really did go to our friend's house to see how that's to do right. this, yes. and that's what's happening. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah that's so right. before we come over here to Kay and we talk with her about her tricks of the trade, um, anything about any machine quilting you want to point out on any of these particular quilts? Um, no, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't so. believe not so, right not now. at this no, point, right not at this okay. point, no, okay, yeah, no, okay. yeah, we do have now. a question for Kay, okay, oh, well, Kay, we're how ready is to... your long arm cooking going, <laughs> ah, well, Kathy inspired me so much <laughs> that I guess I'm not coordinated, it's like rubbing your head and your belly Getting at the same time and on the machine, I couldn't do that, yeah. so, um, I've really progressed, Oh, I you think on done, my long arm. I we will attest, she has done very good. I've looked at some of her work, and, I was, and I you really you. have improved I, I a think lot. I really have. And, and I'm it's because really you're in, just working at it. And I'm enjoying good, you know. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, it's it's progressing, along. progressing. It's simpler for me to put it on the big machine instead of dress yeah. You have a long arm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, on, yes. Okay. Yeah, on the well, long arm. For those of you that don't know, they had a quilt shop. Yes. And they've been square to square certified yep. instructors. Yep. Since 2020. Since 2001. Yeah. yeah. August yeah. of 2001. Kay was, was my first 
a student that said, we want more, we want to learn how to be teachers, <laughs> we want to know this inside and out yep. of the square to square. We want to be able to teach it correctly. And we want to teach mm -hmm. it and all that. So she we, she always says that she was my first stalker. stalker. And she was. <laughs> she was a stalker. She sat in my booth at Houston the whole week. Yep. <laughs> I did. I'd leave and I'd come back and they look up and go, oh, Nick would there say, she is back. Say, Nick would say, Mom, she's not going to leave till you do what she wants you to do. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, we've just become great friends and they're great quilters and I'm just so privileged and excited that we get to share their talents with us uh, all during the year, but yeah. with Quilt Club yeah. Week especially is when we get yeah. to highlight other yeah. things. We now have a and following because of the yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's great. But okay. no, my long arming is really, I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've had and, it maybe two years now? Uh, Yes, I, I think so. I think it's years, been two years. But you've years. been diligently this past year. This past year, you've yeah. been. You've That's done what a lot. I've been doing more than yeah. anything else. Yeah. And um, it's just a lot of. Um, uh, uh, Is it practice? It's kind of practice, but I, oh, I'm okay. not one. You know, I watch the videos and they say, well, get your whiteboard out and, oh, no, and I can't draw do that. and do all of this. Yeah. I'm going. No. Again, we're the jumping in and go. And go. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, there's oopsies maybe up in this corner, and by the time I get down to the bottom corner, it, it looks, looks pretty good. Yeah. 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 You know, and it's just what I do. I can't do it all on paper. It's It's got to be on. It's boring. I want to go. It is. Yeah. I want to go. I wanna, I wanna and that's what I've time learned. With my machine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's what I've learned. In January of this year in Premium Club, and we'll talk about Premium Club in depth in, in another quilt talk this week, and we'll show you quilts and stuff, but we worked on borders, and we had four quilts that we focused on during that spring semester in Premium Club. So you learned the option, and you learned um, sizing and how to turn them into borders and everything. So in April, when the girls came, mm -hmm. Oh, no, I guess April and May, the first April, part of May, May for a retreat, we, come? Yeah. we, were, oh, yeah, done. Right. Yeah. we yes. were done with those quilts, quilts, and so we sent them back with them. So Kathy has done some quilting on her machine, her home machine, on some of them, and then Kay put some on her long arm to yeah. do, and of course they brought three. them back yes. with us this time, and we were looking at them this morning just right before we started filming for Quilt Talk. Um, today and they they look awesome they and do. they look wonderful they look and so lovely. I'm excited for you to to yeah, see them a in another quilt talk yeah. this week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it, it was fun. It yeah. was fun. I started with the biggest one first because mm -hmm. I thought, okay, I gotta get the big one done. Yeah. It's like eating the frog, you know. Um, <laughs> the frog or the elephant? Kind of, no, it was well, mine or is or a frog. <laughs> Frog of the elephant, you know, we always, you know, eat that frog, and that was kind of our something thing at the shop. Do. You didn't really yeah, want to do, and it, it was done. overwhelming, and yeah. and it was just get it done. Mark it get it done. So yeah. it was like, okay, I've got to eat the biggest frog for first. So I put the biggest one on there, and I think mm -hmm. it was the uh, it was kind the of row the by snowman, row. Row by yeah, mm -hmm. the snowman row by row one mm -hmm. that I did. Yeah. So, it's really. Uh, the piecing on that one turned out great, and the yeah. quilting's great, so it was yeah. kind of a second thought uh, to do in, in the borders class, but it turned out to be And it was so fun so. because I like different blocks and the different rows. And the different fabrics. And the different fabrics, because I could do different motifs. Uh -huh. Okay, what well, yes. am I going to do on this one? And I love to do a sampler. And yeah, so because I it's... that love of country when mm -hmm. I did that. That was just so yeah. much fun, because... Mm -hmm. I could just do something different on every block. Yeah, it was great. and I that's love what it. I like yeah, doing I really is the and sampler we'll, quilt We'll show type Love of things. Country and um, these border quilts and stuff in another quilt talk. But yep. okay. so let's get to okay. our our meat okay. of our of our thing. Of course, the, we want you to sign up for Quilt Club Week and start learning and getting motivated right now to get. You know, that's what a quilt show does: is it right. gets you motivated, excited, enthused to go home and pick up something that you you need to do, mm -hmm. or to get started on your new little toy mm -hmm. that you got at, right. at the show. Right. And the right. other thing is that you go to be with friends. So when we went online, you didn't get to do that with friends, but right. we had, you know, friends that were watching Quilt Club Week together. We had our whole premium club group, our whole Quilt Club group. We had our Facebook pages so people could talk on all that social media. Right. Yeah. And I love there were several groups that did this of friends and sisters where you know, one was in California, one was in Canada, or one Georgia and one Texas right. or whatever. And they kind of they would together. FaceTime yeah. together yeah. and then watch yeah. the, the videos in their own home because we were all, mm -hmm. you know, Separated. shelter at home. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, got to enjoy some companionship, which I think we all really missed out on, right. and uh, then some education and some fun times. Yeah. Right. So right. Kay and Kathy <laughs> have the uh, have their quilt shop, and then they have their pattern company, a Franklin Quilt Company. I don't know how many patterns they have. They have a lot of new ones. You're going to see some of those today right. that we don't even have on our website yet. So give us a little bit of time, and we'll get the eight new ones or whatever added to the website. Um, hopefully within the next couple of days, for sure this week, we'll mm -hmm. get those done. We're really a uh, busy week for Steve with all yeah. the filming and everything. <laughs> and, cooking, and, and cooking and cooking and, <laughs> and fixing my coffee in the morning <laughs> and in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> he, is our, he is our good guy. He you? is. He yeah. is the best. Yep. The so, best um, guy. I'm going to uh, try to zip up. Time You're going to tell me up. later. <laughs> Tony, you said you were going to zip up and you didn't do it. She doesn't. That's all so right. I'm going to try to be quiet we'll and just turn, it, Shush. turn it. Just kind of do me like that. No, Scoot me on out. So uh, they're going to show us some of their new stuff. They're going to talk about some quilts that they already did in Quilt Club Week. And we've got mm -hmm. a couple of little demos. Most and remember, right. they're all about um, shortcuts and time-saving mm -hmm. right. uh, tips and hints. Right. And so. that's kind of why we developed our patterns. That's how the company kind of got started, because we were tired of redoing and calculating everybody else's patterns. Yeah. So but we... got ready to teach it in your quilt. Right. Right. In the quilt shop. <laughs> So, yeah, no, you, you're good, good. You, good. you, yes. So, you know, we were always making different sizes. They didn't want the lap size. They, they wanted, wananted the bigger, bigger, <laughs> or, or, you know, yeah. and How so much fabric does that's it why we kind of started it. And we wanted, there were specific things that we wanted to um, make sure we had in all of our patterns. So what we do with our patterns, they all read the same. Once you get one of our patterns... Put, put oh boy, he's work. sleeping on the job there. We want well, we, to... we pulled this up yes, on Steve. Yes, we kind of okay. did. There, there we go. go. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they're user friendly. We, right. You know, they. we try to make it, I have lots of pictures on there because I like right. pictures and I like uh, measurements. So right. I always, when I'm designing it or Kay's telling We're, me what yes. to do, um, we do that. We we uh, lots of pictures on it. Right. And, and I'm visual. And it's very, mm -hmm. one pattern they all read the same. Once you learn how to do them and read them, they all read the same layout. Put it over here so, yeah. so you know, and we do multiple sizes. Yeah, not just that. one. I you know, that. this one has a lap queen, uh, extra, extra large long. queen, and a king. king. Yeah. So this particular one uses charms and jellies. So we tell you how many you need, and you don't have to try to figure out what all you need right we have simple blocks but yet they look complex um you know this we don't do hard we don't do we hard don't do hard. they're we not don't hard. Like anything hard no no uh measurement with each step you know so you can square up that block if yours is not coming out correct size we tell you that <laughs> all patterns read the same yeah every and single one of our patterns has the same thing first the layout. you know the lay thank you the layout, the layout. yes Yes. yes. Okay. And then we write our pattern a certain way. Like, we can't, you know, square and a square. We do all of ours basically with the square and square technique when we're doing half square triangles, right. flying geese. But we can't write our patterns using the square the and the square, square, square technique. technique. That's a copyright That's issue. That's a copyright. So we, we usually, I usually do it uh, the old-fashioned way, you know, mm -hmm. half square triangles a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. Draw a line, that type and of so thing. And so that's how. But if you're reading our patterns and you need the square, the half square triangles, you, you just can do, do it, it that way. Yeah. A square and a square technique. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. how we mm -hmm. do the patterns. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know really. Whoa. <laughs> what we're laughing about is oh, kind of a behind the scenes thing. So <laughs> my pixels Steve are has, little. <laughs> your pixels are off, girl. You're <laughs> shiny. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, that's better. <laughs> so on the big screen, her shirt isn't going crazy. Normally, it's like chicks that do this, but the stripes yeah, are the stripes. Boy, it was, <laughs> So it must have more of a woven texture to it. Maybe. So the, yeah, it, the it screen, our monitor that we can see, had the <laughs> picture of crazy. our table, and then it had a little picture of it us, was. and it got really shrunk down. And she's like, psychedelic, Ooh. just going everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's those. So that's <laughs> that's how we, we we design our patterns. So yeah. Uh, so you want to start? Let's start let's, with 
Which one? You well, we were going to start with this these. one. This okay. Because this is the one we finished. This is the one we finished um, for Jody. I quilted it. It's uh, made from the, uh, the fabrics. Patriot, the Patriot Patriot fabrics. fabrics and mm -hmm. stuff. Log and Cabin was, Americana. Yeah, it was Log Cabin So we have the Americana. blues up in the corner and then the reds and the creams. Right, right. And Here. that is, oh, I don't have that pattern out. Well. Yeah. Oh, it, it's, that, it's on the website. It's on the website. Yeah, website. It's on the then. website. And it's called Log Cabin Americana. Log yeah. And Cabin there's Americana. also kits for it. Yes. yes. So, and yes. I, you know, I really think it turned out nice. And I just, I love when I'm quilting just the do the big feathers because I'm all about getting it done, right? Mm -hmm. And so these feathers are just so free and easy to do. And yeah. the bigger they are, the the yeah, less time it takes. You don't stuff. even do a stem. You just kind of come no, up I'm just and come back doing, around and yeah. come up and. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's something that I really yeah. So I here's like our enjoy. log cabin in Americana, and yep. you can order just the pattern, or you can get the the kit the with kit the fabrics because those are our fabrics, our square textiles. Yeah. So you can go in and get and them. I won a blue ribbon at Isn't the it? fair. I'm so excited, had to keep it on. Yeah. So yep. yeah. Now when I look at this quilt, I love mm -hmm. a log cabin, and I love the when it's set in rows where the colors you know all come together like you see here in this mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and I love how you've taken like the light row and that was your quilting um, palette. Yes, that mm -hmm. was yes. where you focused and went. Right, and mm -hmm. then you did the same thing when you came to your red row, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and just just beautiful. Yeah. I love that in there, and I love the border, the two. Yeah, yeah, they matched. Huh. Yeah. yeah, who would have thought? That? Yeah. <laughs> Got your, got your I eagles like all that. over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They turned out really nice. I really, I'm a red girl and a cream girl, so this is just right up my alley. I love the depth uh, that the fabrics and the colors have, and mm -hmm. the way that the, the log cabin just simply blends all of those together. It does. Yeah, log yeah. Cabin and is I just and I I like to match my threads. You know, like I used a cream thread in here, and then I used a red thread in here, because I I I want to show the quilt. So showcase the quilt first. Mm -hmm. the, the yeah. colors, how pretty mm -hmm. it is, and then I want them to look back and say, wow, look at that yeah. quilting. I yeah. don't, I, I don't yeah. like to have my quilting overpower, overpower. overpower the quilt. Yeah. That's I agree. Not, right. Right. Yeah, that's and tell them a tip about the star here. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Because yes. 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 that's a good um, tip. Because if you buy the kit, you need yes, to kind of know that. Sure. Because um, it's directional. It's fabric. a directional right. fabric. This is directional eagles. I went and made all of my squares with all of the eagles the same way. Well, then when it came to putting it together, this one sat very nicely, but then this one I had to turn and then he was sideways. And then this one was correct, but you know, everyone, some of them were sideways, some of them were upside down. So I had to take each and every, each and every block out and turn it and put it back in. So yeah, that was a lot. So you of fun. kind of have to say, okay, I need pay attention. So many squares with the red in this corner and the light in this corner or the light in the left corner or yeah. whichever way it is yeah. number them out so you know where what you're doing where yeah. you're going at yeah. that when you're yeah. making those yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. and that's only because of directional fabric right if you choose right a directional right fabric. if you choose a direction right now right. this one we may or may not have shown this is a fairly new one that we right. have that i that we um uh designed and stuff and and i like that we did it in a uh, red white and blue i think we did it yeah we didn't do it what? Uh, okay, never mind. There's, there's, there's this the one. whirly gig pattern. There's the whirly gig pattern right there. Mm -hmm. And then pull out the block from bottom, the bottom okay. block. Would you like to do this? Okay, so yeah, yeah. then we, um, then we then did it in a, a different color way. A different color way, so it looks really cute either way. Oh wow! And it, it and it's just half square triangles. triangles. It's just half square triangles, and mm -hmm. I believe that we did it in uh, blocks. Yes, like, this is a block. This is a block. Yes. This is a block. Put them together that yes. way. Yes. But you know, if you like to put them together this way, you could do it in rows or whatever. But that the directions read that right. That way. and then you so, have a little four patch in the middle. Oh. And so, uh, oh yeah, we do have the we do have a, a storyboard. A storyboard. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Which is right there. Yeah. But that's basically how it goes. So if you've got a lot I of half square triangles laying around. Then you know you can use those half square triangles for this. Yes, one. if you have your scraps. Yeah, yeah. Use your scraps. Yeah, I think you'd you want do. to have um, this part all the same color, or at least the same right. colorway. Same value. And this one, same right. value. Yes. 
and all of those too. But but it's um, a good way to do it. I mean, you know, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it, it's it's a fun one to do, and it's just like we said, half square triangles. And you can do whatever method you want to. Right. But, you know, we always do really the... Nice. Right. Um, yeah. Each unit, you know, the center unit is eight and a half. I think the whole block is 16 and a half mm -hmm. when it comes mm -hmm. up. Yeah. That's a nice size block, 16. Yes. Oh, yeah. It gets yeah. done real fast. There, I think there's yeah. 12 of them in there. We've yeah. got yeah. it folded over. And when you have so many sections going across, I always teach in the pattern adapting, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You divide. You decide how many even sections mm -hmm. across right and then you're like okay if those are two inches each then that's going to give me a 16 inch Teams block right. right so when you have so many pieces going across they can get pretty tiny right mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and and if you want the block smaller they get pretty mm -hmm. tiny. tiny and a two inch sewn two and a half cut is a perfect right. size yes. to work with and I, that's what I did a, a lot. eight inch block that's oh, what mercy. that block challenge was. Oh, was it was an eight inch block? Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, that, that was really because they're all one inch pieces. Yeah, and stuff. See, was, so see yeah. if you had an eight inch block and there's eight going across, mm -hmm. then all of those are one, one inch. inch. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, all right. So okay, now so that's the, the whirly gig. I'm I'm real excited to show this one, and we love panels. You know, yes. everybody buy pan buys panels, and then what do you do with them? You know, what do we I don't do? Know if we with want it down here or what? Yeah. Yeah. Oops, it actually goes this way. Yeah. This way. Well, yeah. you know, panels are so cute. They are. And, and they do move quickly, you know, for a baby quilt or a wall hanging or whatever. But lots of times it is like, yeah, what do I do with that? Mm -hmm. And so it's nice to have some ideas. Right. And then, of course, the options make great little border right. to frame right. right. Absolutely. So from your border So I want to yeah. explain to you guys that this panel was wider than longer and mm -hmm. I don't like that when I'm doing like a baby quilt or something I don't right. I didn't want to make it that big so when I made this I cut his butt off okay I cut uh, his butt off and that's okay and it looks just as fine yeah. but then I didn't know what to do with his butt <laughs> so I made him I, 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 uh, I put his butt on the back oh, how <laughs> and these are leftovers yeah. Oops, just scraps, of, of yeah. stuff that I was I was trying to decide how I wanted to make the border. That so, is perfect. Isn't that fun? I think it's I just think perfect. It's cute. And I think a little kid would figure that out and uh -huh. really enjoy that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, probably be some cute, funny stories to go along with it. Yeah. 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 I was going to grab but the. That's just oops, perfect. That's not it. So okay. this is one of your new ones. This is which the new this one. Is one of the new ones. Mm -hmm. We don't have it on the website. It's called yet. Playing and with will. Panels. And, and then I think I got, got the other one too. Yeah. Got Same thing with this one. Is that the one that's on there? Nope. No, it's the other one. It's the other one. Okay, so put that up there. Okay. Yeah. He, he oh, is the same sweet. way. This panel was wider than it was longer. And look at option yeah. eight. Yeah, look They're at those so borders. fun. Oh, cute. Okay. So I had this panel, and there's two more drafts. I can't remember. Oh, it's this way. There were two more drafts this way. But I wanted it to be longer than wider, so I cut them off. Well, the one ear, there's the rest of them, okay? <laughs> so the one ear, I had to cut around at this point. And so then I just, attached, I just grabbed a motif from a piece of fabric and then and stuck it there. It well, you can't just have one, so I put one oh. up there and, and then one, one down, down here, down there. So. Yeah. Oh, and that's just perfect. And, it makes and, it so cute and yeah. so lackadaisy. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. So there was this one. This is the oh, other the part. Other this is the other part of it, and this one is our um, slice of sunshine. Slice of sunshine one. So you show how to take a panel and cut it up, and that's what. Yes. Yes. And the, yes. this is the flange, the flange yeah. from the, yeah. the shortcut binding yep, tool. tool. Yep. You can go to our website or um, in Quilt Club or Premium, and it looks like it should be. It looks like it should be. Oh, it looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it should be, it's ruffled. Yeah. And yeah, I does. thought maybe you yeah. did something on there, because there is well, like Well, that would have been nice, because then the, the little kids would yeah. like to, to feel it. And yeah. 
I don't have that much time. It's that, uh, <laughs> there used to be, uh, and I know she's still out there, but it's chenille. Yeah. And you, yeah. you sew it up the center, and then you wash it, and then it fluffs all up. Oh, okay. That would be really cool. That would be really yeah. kind of cool. Even on their yeah. little eyelashes. On the eyelashes you could and come stuff. back and do that. Do I could do that. You could do that for me. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know if I have black or not. <laughs> that's yeah. okay. I'll see if I do or not. But so that's that one. This is the slice of sunshine, and I put this uh, panel in here. It's a smaller version of this one. That you've you've seen this one before. I, I love this one. I do too. When I'm doing panels and I need something very quick and easy, I do this, um, and it's just the panel. And this is slice of sunshine. Slice of sunshine, mm -hmm. and then I do the flying geese. And whatever size these flying geese are is what I cut this panel to, to be. and the and the extra. extra this fabric. is just a piece of fabric. fabric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it can get done in an afternoon. Yeah, because these mm -hmm. are what four by sixes. No, they'd no. be three by three six. by six. Three by yeah. six. Three by six. Yeah. Perfect rectangle. Remember, yeah. three whatever by six, this right. size it is, you yeah. double it, and that's right. that size. Yeah. Three by six. Yeah. So make this, and then attach it here, and then yep, you whack. And here's another sample of it. Oh, this is I a forgot for about Christmas this one. one. I love this one. You know, great. We're always picking up those baby ones or Christmas ones. I love and, panels. And I just think they're so cute. Well, this would be cute, a nice baby blanket for them to use at Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yep. And, you know, and Kathy's quilting is, you know, we're just doing Stimple. loops. And, mm -hmm. and if you have a long arm, these are great to put on the long arm because they're really simple to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I put it on the long arm, I usually do it the long ways yeah. across so this can, way. Yeah. So yeah. I can... Do Go like two want. rows and mm -hmm. then I'm done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you make, our other tip is, when you're quilting or you're piecing a, a quilt, when it's done, make your binding oh, at right. that point. You're when binding you're your flange. When, when you're, you're finished your piecing, piecing, make, make, your, make binding your binding your flange. So when you're ready to quilt it, this is done. And you don't have to wait. And you don't right. have to, oh, where did I put that fabric? Where is it? Or what's going yep. on? And Mark the me. binding, what right. it is, what it goes to. The other tip that you did, you brought the other day when you brought that quilt for me to um, quilt, uh, you had a label up here at the top. Oh, yes. And it, and it had the size is, of the top. Right. And she had binding with a check mark after it. So I, I knew that she gave me the binding so that I would have to finish the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. A method to her madness. I know, yeah. 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 But yeah. that's a really it great is. idea. Yeah, I do because... that. I put the size on there, and in a, uh, even at the time when I'm done piecing the top, I try to find my backing. Yeah. To yeah. go with yeah, it. And mm -hmm. fold it, tuck it And up fold it all too. together. Yeah. So, and even the batting, I like to, you know, try to do that if I can. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The batting And too. have it all there. Mm -hmm. Ready, ready to go. So mm -hmm. when I can load it yeah. on my arm, my Nothing machine, yeah. you know, I can put it on the machine. It takes me about 10 or 15 minutes to and put it on, running. and I'm off and running. And before yep. you know it, I've done, one day I think I went through like three quilts. I quilted yeah, three just, quilts yeah. Yeah. because they were so they were easy, ready to go. and they were ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I think they were probably all from the same line of fabric, so mm -hmm. I just had a one big piece. Mm -hmm. A backing and mm -hmm. one big put piece of binding, and, and put them on there and went. Yeah, there they went. Yeah. And now you know. talking about color on this, what I see when I look at this, because I think these are really, really pretty colors. I love the panel and the the colors that they did. But you you brought the two main colors, which is a dark and a medium, mm -hmm. um, on the two main colors of mm -hmm. the pinky coral and the little turquoisey blue, and you brought those over for your flying geese. Mm -hmm. So when you look at these two colors, obviously the reddish pink one is the dominant one yes. that comes out. So you can decide at that point, do I want my flying geese, the bodies of to my actual up, little geese to, to pop than, out, yeah. or do I want my wings to pop out and mm -hmm. switch your mm -hmm. colors? Mm -hmm. And it would give it a totally different, different look, look because when you're Absolutely. looking at this, your eye goes to these poinsettias, and it goes to the flying geese. Mm -hmm. And there's just a great balance in that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I love how you came over here and did the, 
the same I know, color I love that. The, yeah, it just it brings it, frames it, it up. It frames it up. Just it really a nice does. Little spark. Yeah. And I love a stripe. With yeah. A nice oh, if I can put a stripe, stripe binding on, mm -hmm. that's yeah. it's that's mm -hmm. my go-to if I can. Yeah. I yeah. love my stripe binding. So just just a simple quilt, but gorgeous. And anybody that received this for a gift is just going to be over the top happy with it. They are. And um, you know, if they're not a quilter, they're just going to think, "Wow, you guys spent four years, years. getting this made for me." <laughs> right. You know. Right. right. I did a um, a quilt of valor quilt recently, and it was just a panel. And it had borders on it. Well, when I got a hold of it, I quilted it. The eagle feathers and the mountain behind, you know, I did oh, a yes. lot of quilting I on it and stuff that. like that. And I got such rave reviews, reviews about it, you know, and I gave it to a, um, a, he, was a he was a, a veteran, yes. Uh, he was the, I think he was a brigadier general. Yes. And I mean, he was so oh, overwhelmed excited. about it. And they were just thrilled. I mean, they were, but it was just the panel. And, yeah. and, and I just quilting. quilted just it heavily. Really, yeah. And it just really turned out really nice. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you're sometimes really... when you're doing quilts of valor, you just uh, use a panel. And, and Well, one thing yeah. that when I think about these panels and, and all of this is that we did our border class January to May. Right. And then in May, we had our retreat, our Mother's Day. Right. And we had quite a few students there that, yeah took that had panels they were working on mm -hmm. and adding all of these borders to them and so you'd look at one on this wall here that this you know worker yes. bee was doing and then uh -huh. another one here and then another one over there and another and it was just so fun it really and was. exciting yes. to just see how they they took what they learned from the border class and then came to the retreat with these panels right. and, and, and work whatever it was yeah. and yeah. worked on them. Just right. yeah. awesome. And awesome. sometimes it's just neat to put them up on your wall. You know, if you've got just leftover blocks, just put them up on a wall. And what can I put with these? Mm -hmm. What can I mm -hmm. do with just what I have now? Mm -hmm. This box needs to be emptied. And that's another mm -hmm. segment or I think that we're going to be you working on. You are very on. good at that. Yeah. She's good at going through. Going through and, and trying. I'm Well, I'm trying. I'm really trying to get rid of a lot of move my. Move your stuff. Move my stuff. Because mm -hmm. there's new stuff that I really want to work on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really want to work on mm -hmm. those. But so, I've got to get rid of some of this. Yeah. So there's two ways. You either get to the project and get it finished. Yes. Or, or if you're not going to love working on right. the project. Good. Give it, it to somebody to else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let it take yeah. up space in no. your room yep. or, or in your, your head. head. Yes. yes. That's right. That's right. There's not, you know, that yeah. space up there is getting smaller and smaller, <laughs> it seems like, you know. It's fuller. It's, it's fuller. fuller. I guess yeah. it's fuller yeah. and fuller. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's so full I can't day. find my car half the time, <laughs> you know, so. Hey, hey, Mimi, there's an app for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah, car. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to teach him where that app is and put it on her yeah. phone. Here, here, here. Yeah, here's your gardener. Yeah. yeah, and they'll take care of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So another new one that we have is this one. This one's called Cartwheels. Kelly so, loves to do baby quilts. She, she's had several new nieces and nephews yes, yes. that had uh, children. Yeah. So, uh, and, you know, I think a lot of this probably pulled from your stash too. Or it is. This is all from my yeah. stash. Yeah. yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah. So this is the pattern here, and it's called cartwheels. It's cartwheels. a baby pattern. It yes. is a baby, pattern, a baby pattern, and it only it only has one one uh, size to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but it's uh, so, and it was very simple. And and um, as far as the quilting goes, it was so much fun. I just really I love these little. I know these, little these are just. I love yeah. showing these. I yeah. love doing these. Yeah. I've probably showed that on several yeah. of the videos. And you didn't do anything in here. here. I didn't. So thinking about machine quilting, um, you know, when I look at this, and since I consider myself a novice mm -hmm. and all of that, what I notice in here is is that when you have more density of it being closer together, it smashes it's, it together, yes, which yes, makes yes. other areas pop, pop up. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, when you do it heavy like this, it adds uh, density to the quilt. Right. Right. So you want to think about the overall quilt, how heavy do you want it? Right. right. Because if right. you did that in here, in here, in here it, would yeah, be it would be a very heavy, heavy, quilt. heavy quilt. And if it's a baby quilt, yeah. you maybe don't want it no. that heavy. No. Right. You want no. it to be more lovable and yeah. cozy. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so and more then, open. This was the original pattern I did. This was leftover fabrics, too, I believe. Oh, just a different colorway. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's the one that's on the pattern. Oh, 
People are going to love these pinks and grays. Aren't they cute? Yeah. And turquoise. Yeah. Oh, look at the little and border. Found the little border. Oh, look at that cute, cute I know. Isn't border. that cute? Isn't that cute? Yes. Super cute. And you can see on Kathy, especially on this one, see, she matches her thread bobbin with the top. The top. On something like this. Yes. Sometimes I don't, but this one I, in particular I did. Yeah. See, like, oh, these are all pink. pink. Yeah, this is yeah. pink here. And, and I do that, too, and you'll see, we'll show you when we're looking at Jody's quilts. Yes. On occasion, not always, but on occasion, you can see that color of the mm -hmm. bobbin of the back. Yes, and I don't up. like that. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. you yeah. know, if you, uh, not always, but on yeah. occasion, and depending on the fabrics and the threads right. and the batting right. and all that. And this is a straight line quilting one, and I go into oh, depth yeah, a little yeah. bit about the straight line quilting, and I don't like to do in the ditch work because it doesn't show. I'm yes. the quilter. I like my work to show. Well, there's th what I tell people about the ditch is is that I don't like the ditch, and the reason why I don't is because you, you think, well, well, lots of times people do it in the ditch because they don't have the confidence and they think right. my work isn't very nice, so I will quilt it, but I will mm -hmm. put it in the ditch where you can't, can't see, see it. it. Well, well, if you're not exactly uh -huh. in yeah, there, yeah, you gotta really be. It's gonna go over this, and you're yep. gonna notice that yep. you're off more than if you got off doing a straight line. Correct. So I, I don't know that I ever want to do stitch in the ditch or recommend a mm -hmm. stitch in mm -hmm. the ditch. Yeah. I, I suppose there's a very small percent of a time that it would be needed. Yeah. But right. I, it's not something that I yeah. want to do or that I recommend to right. do. Right. So this was something that needed to be done, and you know, and actually. Um, this wasn't important to me. I really wanted to do something very pretty in here and in here and on the border. And so, you know, I wanted to get this part done. Okay. And so I just... Uh, very sweet. Now, straight -lined once it. again, I want to point out the, the striped binding. Oops, you got to move it over a little bit. Oh, sorry. I want to point out the striped binding. And I want to put out how she brought this pink flange, flange out. So she brought, you know, she's got it scattered in her block. Then she has it in her border. People are always asking about color and how do I know where to put what where mm -hmm. and all that. And see, she's got a good contrast um, uh, going from her gray to her yeah. her soft ballet pink, yeah. pink mm -hmm. to her mm -hmm. little her little forest animals. Yeah. And then she's got the stripe in the binding and then the uh, little pink flange mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, people who are not doing this shortcut binding tool that they invented and then now I have own you, own the you, shortcut binding mm -hmm, tool. Right. But this is just this is just a All wow one piece. moment yeah. over the top thing mm -hmm. to finish your quilt. So it this this short this flange and the binding is all prepped at the same time. time. Right. And then when you put it on, it's all of this just comes happens. On the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. You stitch and it to the back of your quilt mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it's pulled over to the front and then we're machine kind of stitching right there in the ditch yeah. on top of our yeah. flange. Yeah, that's a close in the ditch that yeah. I mm -hmm. would recommend yes. in mm -hmm. there. Yes. To do. And it's now it just, won't be perfect on the back. No. A lot of times so you want a matching the, thread. So you want to, to match the back. Mm -hmm. The back. Although mm -hmm. I did it in pink. Yeah. Well, I, was in I do too. Well, it's all. It, I mean, you it don't blends. Notice. Yeah, it, it all blends. blends. See, and that notice. goes. Yeah. yeah and then when fine. you wash this, mm -hmm. wash. yes, very good. Wash. Wash it. Yes. Our, our southern comes out. Wash it. Wash it. When you're gonna wash it, then it's gonna crinkle up, and then I ain't gonna see it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I, that's when I like, you know, I wash mine when I'm done with them and, uh -huh. and uh, then it all crinkles up and you can't really even see. Mm -hmm. I mean, not really crinkle, but I mean, you know, yeah, right. you it, lose it, right, that. Uh, it softens. Yeah. Right. It softens. What else do we have? So we now do? what do we have? What else do we okay, have? Okay, we have our scraps. Yeah. You and you've seen a lot of these. Yeah, let's we'll move these oh, off. Make sure there's not a pattern okay. ahead. Down and in we'll, uh, let's pull these up because these aren't on the... These are older ones that we did, but they yeah. were being, again, there's, I knew there was a pattern off there. Yeah. Okay. We'll just throw them this over one. This one. We'll put lighter. this one down here. And this one. Oh, and that's right. Oh, you guys. Really so while they're getting their new quilts out and uh, taking just a quick uh breather and getting organized here. I want to talk again about Quilt Club Week for maybe people who have just joined us. 
Quilt Club Week will be the first week of October. Uh, it will start kind of on a Sunday, Monday. We'll do some lives and some get excited. It'll be out to everyone because, you know, you can still sign up and see it at that time. So it'll be a big push and promotion before on that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, it goes private just to Quilt Club users. And we do an early bird on Wednesday. So when you think about a quilt show, they some of them do an early bird the night before where you can get in there and kind of start having some fun and getting ready to roll. Then on all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, we'll have classes. They'll all be loaded at the same time each morning, but you can go in and watch them at your own pace anytime. So each day on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have the pre-recorded stuff loaded ready for you to watch each day. You can also go back and watch anything that we've previously have had the days before. And then, uh, so, you know, sometimes the classes kind of build on each other. They're put in, in, uh, in order of day that we want you to see them sometimes, not always. But, or we may refer to a previous class or whatever. And then that way you'll be uh, prepped and, and ready to go. So um, just real quick, our, um, I, was, I had it written down, our hours. I may have to look while the girls are talking. Um, I'll look at that and find that just of how many hours of instruction and videos, lectures, and oh. everything that we had just in uh, 2021. Yeah, it was like that we 40 did. or 50 hours or yeah, something like of, that of, uh, in of that, videos in that jam-packed week. Mm -hmm. So go to the website, go to squareandasquare.com, and at the top of the page, you will see the place for um, you to sign up. And if you sign up now, you'll get to start watching 2020 immediately, 2021, and then you'll be ready to roll when we have our first week of October of our new live stuff going. And then you'll be able to watch everything to um, all the way to the end of April, so nine months. So through the main quilting mm -hmm. season, you'll have you'll resources have all of that to mm -hmm. keep going available. back to. Now, if you join Premium Club or if you are a Premium Club member, then Quilt Club Week stays in there for you as long as you are a member. And that's the best way to do it is yes. join Premium Club. Mm -hmm. And because that way you get it all. It. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and it um, comes with it. Right. And so you can go to the website, that front page, the banner. It has Quilt Club Week. It has Premium Club. It has all And of there's that so in. much the Premium Club and, does. And yeah, it, well, and it's all the a, interaction. And, and we have a Facebook and, page, yeah. too. True. And we yeah. show all of our work yeah. and stuff. It's just really yeah, kind of cool. It's just really yeah. cool to here's, do. Here's one, that, the, a little text email thing that I got, and it said, Jody, I just wanted to tell you that I've learned more from you in the last six months than I have in the last 20 years of quilting. That's nice. That the videos, mm -hmm. are, are, the videos have made the difference. Without them, I would never have tackled uh, Letters to a Soldier, which was a big quilt, right. and now I'm finishing it, and I love that they're finishing it. Yes, because they're finishing. Yes, you that's have something funny. that's working, and you're staying motivated and excited, and you have this online group that's encouraging you right, to keep right. going, you finish your stuff. Right. Uh, I'm now finishing it, and I have I have learned to use the stiletto, and I have used to the learn stiletto. to use the shortcut binding. Oh, really? Oh, yes. good. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve uh, has a question from our galley. Is for Kathy related to this coming quote club week 2022? Okay. It says Kathy, do you do we need any special tools, stencils, threads, or anything for machine quilting classes this year? Uh, no. <laughs> I you know I I kind of uh keep it simple. Keep yeah, it we, simple. Yeah. I mean there are stencils and I will have the I'll give them to Steve to put on the website and stuff like that, but um, no, I, I uh, yeah, but kind of once you you learn how to do a stencil, then they then can you go choose on what and you like. choose what yeah. you like. Yeah, I have tons. You of know, it may not be all of the different products that um, Kathy uses, uses and shows and everything are on our website, website. and they're already right. on there now, <laughs> unless there's a, a new thing which doesn't yeah. sound like. No, no, yeah, I don't you know, really have anything thread. new. It's just a reiteration of what I've been doing in the past mm -hmm. and um, expanding expanding that. It's kind of like the square and the square system. Once you have the ruler, right. when a new right. option comes yeah. out, you yeah. got the ruler. You can right. do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And thread-wise, it depends on the color of the quilt, the color of the quilt and mm -hmm. what you use is different than what I use on my long arm. Mm -hmm. 
Because oh, on yeah. my long arm, I use a um, big spoon. Polyester. It's a, po it's a not poly nylon or poly something. I've got it in my bag, and we'll probably talk about we'll talk that. We'll talk about that later. Um, yeah. Right now, I can't. We'll, we'll visit that one. Yeah, right yeah. yeah. It, yeah. that name is mm -hmm. just not there. Not showing yeah. up. That's yeah. not right. it's But not I'm, I'm excited because so. I've decided that I'm going to no. do. Um, uh, during Quilt Club Week, I'm going to do uh, troubleshooting machine quilting. You know how if your um, if your tension. Uh, tension is off, your you've got loops on the back and things like that. How do I'm going to address all that? So I'm really excited about that because mm -hmm. I think that's really important because you know that happens and like well what do I do yeah. mm -hmm. what do I do mm -hmm. so we're gonna you know we're I'm gonna mm -hmm. work on that and I think that the trouble I said the troubleshooting video was a troubleshooting great, great yeah. Idea. yeah 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 great video okay okay all right all right well we're gonna you know we, we've been talking here for about 55 minutes yeah so we're gonna have to speed it up speed it up okay okay yeah these are ones you've already seen so <laughs> yeah we didn't pull all of them out we didn't I don't pull them think out. this, is, this is just five inch squares um, love that. You know, everybody wants those five inch squares because the new, you know, new patterns side. are coming I'm out. Switch cameras. Let's go over here. Okay. Okay. Let me have, get those patterns out of the way. And if you need yep. them off hand, I'll do that. Okay. So, you know, this Probably is just a basic we'll five inch square set on point. In romantic. Huh? And so we have, your, again, multiple sizes. And it's a great way to use up those five inch squares that you have. Very simple. I Very guess. simple. Very yeah. simple. And then this one all the way up. Or at least, and personal. we can always show um, quilts on the next one too. Yeah, yeah. This one is our romantic charm, and that's it's, been up there before. It's one of your new patterns. No, no, it's, no, no, it's no, an old one. It's probably the second or third one that we've done. Yeah, I mean it. Uh, it's uh, charms and jelly rolls, and it's very simple on the way we do it. Mm -hmm. And Kathy's just did feathers. She loves mm -hmm. her feathers. And once again, look at the stripe binding and that I know. beautiful. Right. <laughs> we love right. our stripe that binding. Beautiful. Well, and if you Blanche. notice, you have a pink oh. binding here, and this one, we Has have the green, black. The black yeah. binding. Oh, cool. The yeah. black and the green. Well, you might as well open it because up so you can show everybody. Yeah. What we did. Do you want to hold it up? Or? Yep, we're going to hold it up, I think. Because we can't. Can we we'll pull up that? And pull what? Okay, so they can see the pink. Yeah, pink is over here. We, you know, we only had so much fabric. And so we and did that the up there. And then on the bottom, we did a black half. So just use up it's the stash. So maybe you don't have enough to do a whole border. You can do a partial border. Right. Yeah. Right. Or if you don't, if you've only got a certain amount. I think it enhances the use, I think it does too. Yeah. yeah. See, we use the um, leftovers. Here you can see where it started and stopped. Yep. And the shortcut binding tool shows you how to join all those together, yep. how to start, how to stop. You know, and use those piano keys that you have, leftover fabrics. I love it. So you don't piano. use, you don't have to have as much border, border. Okay. fabric. Yeah. So look how these are kind of all the same here, but then when you come here, we have a long stretch. You're right. So you're just using what you have. One width. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically mm -hmm. one width of fabric on each one of those. So And it looks good. Yeah. And then you don't have all these little leftover pieces left over that you have to figure out what to do with. Right. Put them all in, use it up. Right. Yep. That's right. what we want to do. And this one is, I, I love this one because it's so easy. It looks beautiful, but it's so easy. Oh, great baby one. Here. Oh, yeah. Great baby. What do you mean? Great baby one. It's a great baby oh, quilt. Oh, it's a great baby yeah. quilt. Oh, it's okay. a great baby quilt. Make it smaller. If your baby's not this if big. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. So what it is, is a solid square. Let me see if I can put that there. There's my solid square. Mm -hmm. And then there's my uh, nine patch. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. It's mm -hmm. just solid squares and nine patches. And you just make it up to look like that. And you can use your nine patch ruler for yeah. these. Yeah. And mm -hmm. makes them perfect every time, mm -hmm. so yep. you know they're all going to fit together. Yep. And it's just solid blocks. But this is one you do have to lay out on your oh, design you board on, yeah, in order the to floor get or something. In order to make sure that that goes there and that goes right. there and, and that which goes way there and that goes there yeah. to do your nine patches. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you can't. On this, it. I don't think. I think you, we cut the individual squares. We did. We did. In I order think it's to do easier one. to do it that be way. Easier to do. Yeah. Unless you only did two yeah. or three colors. And then the border just used leftover 
I love that. Two and a half inch squares. I yep. love that. Yeah, fun. Oh, this is another straight line one. See, I guess I do like straight oh, yeah, line. You do. This yeah. is straight line. Well, a little bit. Yeah, little bit I did. You, you kind did of went in some different geometric here. stuff. To me, this kind of represents this. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 And once again, look at those uh, bindings and flanges. Yep. Just mm -hmm. and see how this color is a pop color. Yeah. Right. It, is. it is. I love well, it. Yeah. It pops. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I people or quilters. Oh, I have to have my back to match my front. No, Everything's no, got to match. No. Well, my philosophy is if I have a piece big enough, <laughs> then it goes on. Then this. it's going to go on the back, whether it's, you know, if it's similar, yeah. you know, I don't want to put a. You're not going to, you're going to enhance the beauty. You're right. not going to make it ugly with no. what you put on the back. No, I'm not going to put but, a reproduction yeah. on a bright quilt. Right. right. But right. Yes. if this is a black yeah. And white. Yeah, this is perfect. I, it must, though, I'm, I'm I must admit, the other day when you gave me that flannel, I went, ugh, I don't like that flannel. I'm going to put something else on it. So <laughs> I, I took it out of my own stash. I know. I had stuff to match. I know. It was fine. I'll give you a bit. I did but, give it back. Yes, you me, did so. give it back to me. Yeah. But, so that's, you know, that's, everybody wants the back. You don't, your back don't have to match it. Now, my quilt teacher of many, many years ago, back in the late 70s and early 80s, the lady that I studied under that was such a great, uh, lady and quilter she always talked about buy your buy your back at the same time because over time the right. colors change yeah the change this right. teal is different than the teal right. of the 70s years ago yes. yeah right mm -hmm. you want to get that oh okay you want to can we you want to pull the quilt off no we were gonna i think Let's he's got a he's, he's got, got a camera, camera over there it. okay yeah. okay so what we have Show him, if yeah, you let's wouldn't see mind, what show, we're him the, show the quilt first. Okay, so over on the other camera, Steve, there we so go. So this one here, okay. Okay. So the unit that we're looking at is um, right screen. here. Right. Okay. Wait, I don't, let me, uh, let me focus on this view okay. right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. show us the square. Here is the square. So it's a bunch of little squares with a large half square triangle. Right. Correct. Correct. It has little... But these little things, oh my uh, goodness! Yeah. We hate Can you doing try those. making those? Yes, uh, those are terrible. Yeah. So we have a method that we right. do, and that's set on point. Yes, so that's set on point. you know that's why you've got to look at a little. Yeah. And when you zoom out Upsy. on it, you can see it kind of goes around. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It does. It does. So what we do then is we take our these are all two and a half inch squares like a jelly roll. These, this is a two and a half by three and a half inch rectangle. So your first row up here has four your two and a half inch squares in a rectangle, three rectangle and one. The center row has two rectangle and two. And then these two rows are the same as the top, except reverse. So you have that rectangle going right through the center. So when you put that, you have that. Then we're going to put it with a background piece. Put the two here. And then what we would do is we're going to draw a line at our tips of our points. Right here. And we draw a line. Draw a line. We're going to sew on those two lines. And you can see here. See, I've sewn on these two lines right there. Then you cut it apart and you have that block. Now you can either have, when I put, would sew this, then this would be like this. Okay. And then this one is like this one. And then this one is like this. So when we put them together then, it depends on how you set them together. And so here you have these little triangles that you didn't cut because they're out of a rectangle. And we want that rectangle in order to give us that seam allowance there in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then this one I just did with all scraps mm -hmm. for the, the background piece. I had all a lot of these lights and I just put them on a foundation, kind of foundation piece them, mm -hmm. all those scraps, and then put them and sewed it and then that gives you that quilt. That's awesome. 
And these are horrible to make. They are horrible to but make. But when you yes. can do it like this, because I always talk about in the science of patchwork, we want to think about the human element. And the human element is the, the cutting, the sewing, and the pressing. So that's where, as a human, we're going to lose our perfection, is in that sewing, cutting, or pressing. And that's everything we do to put a quilt together. So anytime we can help remove the human element, then we're going to get more speed and perfection. Right. So you've removed the human element of all of these funky triangles. Right. And by working with a solid unit of the rectangle. So right. I love that. Very ingenious. And we, uh, the background here is oversized. So when you do sew them together, you can see there it's oversized. Right. Then you cut them apart and then you square it up mm -hmm. to the size that you have. And that's part of the overcutting that right. we teach uh, mm -hmm. in the premium club. Right. right, right. And if yours happens to come out, I think these were what, two, four, six, maybe this one may have been a six and a half inch block or mm -hmm. seven, six, seven, I'm not sure exactly. I'd have oh. to look again. I don't um, but, you know, if yours comes out, it's supposed to be a six and a half, but yours comes out to six, square them all up to six. It's not going to make any difference. There's right. nothing you can do. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing you can do. Just go with it. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah. This is scraps. Right. And if all the blocks are the same, the same they're all going to right. right. fit together. That's right. So this is the same thing, only... Right. Um, this is basically... This is, this is called scrap box chevron. It's basically done the same way. Right. I'm trying to think where the block is. My goodness. Um, the I'm, block is... Um, right, right. No. <laughs> here. Right. Wait a minute. Where we at? The block is here. The, the oh, dark yeah. black yeah, yeah, yeah. is your it's triangles. Your, where you there you go. Sewing. There and you then go. this is your, your background. That's right. So there it is. And there. And there. And then these are your little. And so we right only there. did three rows. Or actually, yeah, three Two. rows. Yeah. We did three rows. Because yeah. the opposite of here is yeah. here. Yeah. And so we just kind of put the two pieces together. And that's on the website. Uh, right. The Square so, Square website. you know, we did one with three. One has the four, four rows, rows. And then the scrap box squares has five rows. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's how. It's been a while since we've kind of I looked, know, at, looked these. at these. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I thought we had a, a um, thing for that, but I guess we don't. I guess we don't. We don't. It. I don't either. Yeah. This one here is called Scrappy Nine Patch. And these last three that we've shown you, they're on they're hit the website, website, the Square and Square website. Right. And right. what this is, it's called Scrappy Nine Patch because the Nine Patch is right here. <laughs> right here in the corner. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yep. Because you have a center square. Yep, there you go. Have a center like square. That. You have three squares <laughs> around it and then two triangles and then your other... Yeah. So your lights here, right to here, to there, to there, mm -hmm. and then when you twist them around, then you get this, and then you get the secondary looking yeah. block. Yeah. But it's basically it's just a, a nine patch is yeah. all it is. Uh huh. Yeah. It's basically and just this a nine quilt patch. is beautiful uh, in so many different ways. But what I really want to point out is the contrast. People have so much trouble with color. They're like. How do I know what colors to go together? Mm -hmm. And if you look, your inside pattern is, I'm going to say, uh, anywhere from mediums, uh, dark mediums to light darks. So they all generally go into that category. But they all have a contrast that shows up between each other. Mm -hmm. And then your background has a contrast from the block, which makes the block pop out really right. great. Right, right. Yeah. Right. This dark. Just Once again, your scraps and yeah. the border. And we put the darks and... for our triangles. And you kept that consistent. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah. scrap quilts need some consistency yes, somewhere. Yeah. And in the they're center different square. fabrics, but they're different. Yeah. yeah. The, and the they center all have square. the same value same of color. It's the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then okay. another one? Nope. I think nope. that's I think it. That. Oh, oh, what? these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The old guys. Old guys rule. We call it. Um, we got we get real creative with our names of our patterns. There was a fabric line that came out, and we designed this pattern, and that's what it was. The pattern old, line was called, called "Old Guys Rule," Rule and so it was that's what we yeah named the pattern. I'm thinking it was fishing or something. I can't I remember know. what it was, yeah. but so we've done it. But it's it's basically, and I did a t-shirt quilt here. Um, 
It's very versatile. It's very versatile what you can put in these yeah. blocks. You can put the t-shirt in. You can put a um, panel Pony. in, which mm -hmm. we did here. Very simple. Fabric. You did just did one with the Grinch. <gasps> I did. Oh, I did. Did you bring it? I don't think me. you brought the Grinch. I, it's out in the it's car. Out in the car. We'll show it in We'll another. show it later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. But it, it's right. real cute, too. Oh, it turned out got, so yeah. precious. Yeah. yeah. And this was just basically my scraps. I had a lot of T-shirts, you know, for, I had, and I just went through my stash. I have a big stash of black and whites. And, and these are just, you have to kind of read the directions because there is a certain way you have to cut these, and yang. <laughs> these uh, wedges because these are yeah. wedges. You see the wedges better over here. Yeah. These are the two wedges that we're yeah. talking about in here. So you have to cut those a specific same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same, yeah, same quilt. quilt. Same, same quilt. quilt. Looks the so different, doesn't it? T-shirt quilt and the uh, panel, panel, panel quilt. quilt. It's the mm -hmm. same, cool. same, same quilt. Yep. Same quilt. So, so um, Steve, do we have any questions that people or comments that we need from? Such a terrific and simple method to not sew the tiny... Oh, the tiny triangles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah, and it's a great way to use those scraps. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm. We're all about scraps. We're all yeah. about. We're all scraps. about. You so are the scrap those, lady. Well, not We've, as. But I've, and I've, I've really, really been trying on the scraps it. because we yes, all you have, have yes. all of we these. We have them. You know, and lots of times you look at this little piece is this shape, and this little piece is this shape, and one reason why people don't do scrap quilts. Uh, I think is the the color issue, which we'll right. talk about that in a minute. But right. they have all these weird shapes of fabric, right. and so you can't just go in and start cutting strips right. and doing right. Our, right. doing yes. the our quilt our piecing the way that we do things today. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, to to go in and sort your scraps Oops. and know the project. Like I'm really what hitting hard on that in Quilt Club Week. That's yeah. my theme, yeah. is how to handle these scraps, and yeah. and we've been doing that with a, a lot of the different ones. Yes. Can you show all those patterns again? Uh -huh. And if we put them right here, I'll, I'll, let you I'll go put down those and hide on them. Okay. And then... Uh, and some of them are already on the website, so... Like the, the Americana Like the Americana. One. And it's in that plastic. And so then maybe they can take pictures of... Oh, that like way they can take a screenshot. So we'll hold it there. Maybe. And let them do a screenshot. Is that shot. tight enough? You may go more. That's, that's pretty fine. good. That's pretty good. Then yeah. they can screenshot it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I want to do one more quick teaching thing. I want to show those two quilts and the contrast. So your log cabin Americana. Yeah. So let's move this one back okay. around. So lots of times people talk about color. How do I do my scraps and how do I do my color? And I want to show these two quilts. So here we have the um, log cabin, which is my fabric. I want you to notice oh, yeah. oh, how the base or the background of the colors is this um, uh, antique -y. It's, you know, the base of the colors is this antique, and it helps give all of this depth and richness to the different fabrics when we do this. So all of these are my fabrics. You can find them on the website. But there's, when I tell people to sort their scraps, you sort them in two different categories. You sort them to where you have that darker base of, of color, and then you sort them to more of a clear. And people are always saying, show me a clear color. Show me a clear scrap quilt. Show me. And I don't really have those in my stash, and I, those aren't That's, the fabrics that I make. I so I have a hard time showing you what a clear color is. But this quilt is clear colors. It does not have the yellow base in the paint. It's all what you would call bright or clear. Although we can have brights with this darker underneath and um, the not this new fabric line that's coming out in a couple weeks, but the next one, I'm showing you different colors than what we normally use, but it still has this deep, richer base to it. So, uh, you know, a pink can be, um, a dark base or it can be a clear base so every color has that capability so here's your example of uh, a clear base of color and then here is your example of a darker base of color more of a yellow antique look so since we have their quilt I really wanted to point that out and then the next thing I want to do before we close so if you have a question you girls can go ahead and come in if you want if you have a, a question get it in to us and go to the website squareandasquare.com and get signed up for Quilt Club Week so that you don't miss anything. And be sure and watch the rest of this week 
we'll be doing maybe some lives in the sewing room. Mm -hmm. You never know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then also um, we'll be doing our quilt talks. We'll do at least two more. Hopefully we'll be able to fit two in, even sure. though I'm a day behind. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to go over what was in day two of Quilt Club Week last year of 2021. So we opened with a morning live, and then we had a hand quilting class. Then we have a piecing uh, class called Eagle Mountain. Then we had a class on choosing color. Then we had a class on option 40. We had a history lecture. Missy, who was one of my guest teachers, had a class. We did a quilt talk with Kay and Kathy. Kathy did a polka dot quilting. We uh, learned how to make a quick little quilt for pins or uh, souvenirs type things. We talked about, we did a class on labels, we did a class on miters, and then we showed you K-Studio. And that was all just the second day of Quilt Club Week 2021. So you can see how every day is jammed packed with lots of different things. Just like if you were at a quilt show, you would get a variety of things. So lots of people are like, what's the difference in Quilt Club Week and what's the difference in Premium Club? Quilt Club Week is just that one week, and it's a variety of different things mm -hmm. that we do. And um, you get just that Quilt Club Week of that year or the whole uh, session of the three years, depending on how we offer it and how you purchase it. And then in Premium Club, it is a membership that goes all year. It's 12 months out of the year. We load stuff all year. We do a lot of square and a square. We do a lot of Kathy's uh, machine quilting. And we, we focus on different options. We focus on the science of patchwork. We teach you how to overcut and how to troubleshoot. And um, each, um, we have our, our main session is like our fall semester. So we kind of set it up like school. We have our fall session that has a certain theme to it. And then we have our spring session that goes January to May that has our certain theme to it. So this year of January to May, we did borders. You can go back in and buy just that class, or you can buy all of Premium Club or all of Quilt Club Week, however you want to do it. Anytime you have questions, you can email us. Um, questions are not good on social media. They get lost mm -hmm. and hard to find for us and you guys and all of that. So please use our email to uh, talk to us about different things, different questions that you have. And then we also have what we call the quilt phone, the hotline, <laughs> which is 817-713-2879. So get a pencil, I'll say that again, 817-713-2879. And that's a special text line, a special phone. I don't do anything else with that phone. It's just for you guys to send me questions, to show me. So you just text on it. Yeah, you text, but they can send me pictures. Okay. And sometimes but still they won't an you won't answer the phone. No, I don't answer it. it. It's okay. just it's for text. Just for text. Yes. So sometimes they'll say, I need, I'm trying, or they're showing me a pattern, they want to adapt it, or they're trying to do something and change a size or whatever. So the cool thing that I love about that text hotline oh, yeah. is that I can make a quick video. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Get it right oh, on my that goodness. Text yeah. Wow. And specialize Personal. it for them. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. So, you know, if they need a video or a picture of something, sure. I can do it and personally send it to them. It's quick. Wow, that's it's nice. It's quick for me, it's quick for them. And you don't have yeah. to be a member to do this. It's no. just anybody, anybody that can. is looking yeah. at it and yeah. wants to. Like a lady the other day, and of course I don't know any names unless sure. you tell me who it is. Right. I don't know who it is, but um, I say a lady, but it could have been anybody. She said, what size do I make my binding? You know, and oh. so <laughs> I'm like two and a half, you know, or do you have the shortcut binding tool? Do you yeah. do it like that or whatever, yeah. you know, yeah. so I could, could help her specifically Simply for right for her yeah, yeah yeah that's really great so that lots of times people are thinking well if i'm not in person with that person that i can't it. learn yeah. or i can't yeah. you know mm -hmm. i i had a question at class but i didn't know i had a question at mm -hmm. class right. it's later Came up and afterwards. i have a question yeah. as i'm so working so you can come right back to uh to the teacher you still okay. have access to the teacher and they can snap pictures of their work like if they're having Problems, problems with something, you can see. I have them take a picture and send it to me front oh, cool. and back, and then we can talk about what? If mm -hmm. it, where, they're, where they need to problem fix is. whatever okay. it is okay. to right. help troubleshoot. So one more time, the number, 817-713-2879. Do you have a question, Steve? 
No, I have a comment. Okay. Uh, they said give them a thumbs up. Give them a thumbs up. <laughs> right. Well, thank you guys. We <laughs> we we love our quilting, and I'm just so thankful that Kay and Kathy came into um, our lives over 20 years <laughs> ago, and that they still love me. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. we do. <laughs> and that she they can do. come all the way from Tennessee so that we can have some fun and we can share that fun <laughs> with you guys. So. Uh, I just implore you to up your game and become that piecer that you've always dreamed of by joining our Quilt Club Week, our Premium Club, and of course, stay tuned this week. We've got more fun and games for you. Yeah, we'll be here. We'll be here all week. Yeah. So we're going to be in the studio filming all week, and it may be that all of a sudden I just, because they'll be working, I'll be back in the corner doing the producing stuff and Steve, you know, filming and everything, but I may just decide to do a well, behind live. the scene live of uh, something so what we do make here sure, yes. make mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. you uh, are signed up and ready to go so we're uh, we're gonna go and mm -hmm. if there's something you want to see or a question you have or whatever send it on that text or mm -hmm. um, uh, probably the text might be the best way to do it because if we get Steve's gonna be busy um, and an yeah. email my emails are great but we might not get to it is what I'm saying so yeah. okay all right have all a right. great one see y'all later Thanks. bye, bye. bye.